Hello, Fairless. Today is Friday, January 6th, and, and this, this is, is Falcon, Falcon Media. Media. On today's show, we have Senior of the Week featuring Blake Wade. Idiot Test. Speech Team featuring Jared Six. Factor Crap Wrestling Edition. Boys State. Snow Trivia. And Girls Basketball Highlights. I've been going to Fairless all my life. My name's Courtney Lawrence. College and uh, hopefully playing football. Don't mess around in class. Do your work. Yeah, I have a dog named Pebbles, a whole bunch of cats, and that's it. Pretty nice. I don't uh, worry much about what I have to do and when I have to turn it in because I just don't feel like doing it half the time. It's pretty cool, and he's one of my best friends. He's one of the first people I met when I got here to Fairless. Plex, uh, he's a pretty good guy. He's pretty cute. He's got a nice goatee. He's got some all right hair. Um, I love his back cheeks. Those are nice. Uh, my favorite memory with Blake is it was Blake Carter. Luke, Logan Shepard and I, we all stayed over at Luke's house one night over break and like me, Carter, and Shepard were all just laying on the floor doing some shenanigan stuff and then Blake was like sitting up on the couch and he like pretty much sat on Carter's face and just ripped butt cheeks. My favorite memory with Blake, I don't know man, there's just so many, I don't know which one to pick. He's just a funny dude. Every time I'm with him, it's a great time. Andrew Hall. Welcome to the Idiot Test. If there are eight apples and you take five away, how many do you have? If there are eight apples and you take five away, how many do you have? If there are eight apples and you take five away, how many do you have? Three. That is incorrect. Three. That is incorrect. Three. Three apples. You have three. That is incorrect. Three. That is incorrect. Three. Three apples. <laughs> that is incorrect. No! Are you just giving up? Yes! Oh, you're the one who likes to give up. Yeah! <laughs> three. That is incorrect. You're talking about fruit, right? <laughs> Does it make a difference? Yeah. Yeah, we're talking about fruit. Yeah, you're taking away. Eight apples. That is incorrect. I cannot do math. <laughs> Three. <laughs> that is incorrect. <laughs> so wait, if you have eight apples and you take three away, Wait, say it again. I still don't understand. It should be three. <laughs> I know for a fact it's not three because this is the idiot test. Finally, someone's catching on. Five, three, eight. There's eight apples. There are eight apples, but how many do you have? I have no apples. Well, eight minus three. I mean, eight minus five is three. <laughs> but that's not the math you're doing. Eight. That is incorrect. Two. 
That is incorrect. Five, my, eight minus five is three. That's not the math we're doing. Eight. That is incorrect. Horseback. That's nice. <laughs> there are eight apples. If you take five away, you still have eight because you didn't take. You didn't, they're still there. It is, no? No. No? Five apples. That is correct. <laughs> you took five away, then you would have five. That is correct. All right, yeah. Five apples. That is correct. Okay. Oh, five. That is correct. Five apples. That is correct. If there are eight apples and you take five, then you have five. Oh. <laughs> if there are eight apples and you take five, then you have five. Of course I do. If there are eight apples and you take five, then you have five apples. Apparently you would still have eight then. But those three apples aren't yours. Then whose apples are they? No ones. Then you have five apples. <laughs> if there are eight and you take five, then you would have five. Oh my god. If there are eight and you take five, then you would have five apples. I, know, I have no idea. If there are eight apples and you take five, then you would have five. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I'm done. You'd have three. That is incorrect. There's some answer. If there are eight and you take five, then you would have five apples. I don't know. If there are eight and you take five, then you would have five apples. Oh. Uh. If there are eight and you take five, then you would have five. Uh. I said if there are eight apples and you take five, then how many do you have? So you have oh, five. I have five. If there are eight and you take five, then you would have five. Oh. Frick! Oh my god! I got these fresh eyes, never seen you before like this. My God, you're beautiful. It's like the first time when we open the door for we got used to usual. It might seem superficial, mm -hmm. stay we or typical man. Mm -hmm. You dress up just a little. Uh, well, I'm in drama, but there is humor, poi, declamation, original oratory, uh, Molly Crock is on the speech team with me. Yes, uh, I'm involved with the Players Guild Theater. Right now I'm in A Christmas Carol. Fact or crap? Contestants Hunter Louder, Brendan Reese, Paris Ball, Jared, Rex Adams. Category Fearless Wrestling Records. Nick Shepard has the most takedowns record. That's crap. 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 Fact. <laughs> False. Crap. Crap. The fastest pin record is five seconds. That's crap. Fact. True. I'd say, I'd say false. I'd say that's crap. 
Um, I'll say true. I feel like someone. Mm, no, it's true. I'll say true. That's pretty quick. That's pretty fast. Fact. Fact. Diabelle and Alcorn both hold the record. Nick Shepard and Bo Wanger both hold the best winning percentages. Crap. Fact. True. Fact. Mm, Nick hasn't lost much, has he? No? Uh, they both have the same winning percentage? Bo was pretty good though. He won. So he went far. Uh, I'll say true. I'll say true. Fact: It is an eighty-nine percent chance they will win. Carter Casper has the most reversals record. That's true. Or fact. Fact. Record. True. Fact. True, just because it's Carter. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Crap. Carter has the most escapes record at 46. The most pins in a season is 26. Fact. Crap. Crap. I, I, feel, like that, I feel like that's uh, false, so... False. There's definitely been more than that. Crap. The most pins in a season is 30, held by Bo Winger. This week's winners are... Brendan Reese. Paris Ball. Rex Adams. Boy State's basically just a program where you go and set up your own version of the state's government and just, you get a job, you get to basically run the government. Um, by far my favorite part of Boy State was, um, there are two parties, like how we have the Republican and Democratic parties. We had like blue and uh, red, I think it was, no it was blue and yellow. And um, there was a convention we held to decide what we wanted our party's views to be on different topics. And then we debated over what we thought our, our platform should be for the thing. And that was by far my favorite. The best part of Boy State were probably the jobs and setting up the courtrooms with the judges of the Municipal and Common Pleas Court for my county. The best part was definitely when you get into your job and you get to actually start doing specific things. Uh, I got to pass laws, work as a U.S. Rep or a state representative, and so in my job we got to do, we actually had a U.S. Senator from Washington, D.C. come in and talk to us and we got to ask him questions. Uh, yes, it did. I took an American politics class and it helped a lot when we looked at the court system. There were a few things that I knew in government. Um, when I was at Boy State, I did parks and recreation, so I didn't really learn much about like the actual country's government, other than when doing the platform. But it's not for say you learn stuff you'll be using school, but just it helps you a lot to understand how government works. It helped a little bit, just because when we were like in American politics and we were learning about how a bill becomes a law, I I knew exactly how that happened because I went through it, but. Other than that, you still pretty you have to learn. I list more participation in Boy State on every college application. Well, uh, that would involve um, having uh, scholarships and college applications, but I will definitely be putting on it because it helps a lot. I've listed that on everything, every application that I've done so far. I've listed it on. Um, it's it's a when colleges see that, I think that they really they take that seriously and they really take it into account when they're looking at your application three words yes yes and yes yeah I, I would recommend that everyone tries to put their application in for it all the boys I don't know about the girls experience so the girls can tell you about that but all the boys that 
are even a slightly interested need to put their application in and it might not seem that cool but once you get down there you, you'll definitely be glad that you went i would recommend that anybody who gets the opportunity to participate in boys state chooses to do so because it's just an awesome experience this year boys state is june 11th through 18th at miami university what is the coldest day recorded in ohio's history 20 degrees, negative 15 degrees, negative 8 degrees, negative 39 degrees. Negative 39 degrees on February 10th. That's my birthday. Oh, negative 15. Is that wrong? Negative 39 or something. Negative 39 degrees. What is the most amount of snowfall that has fallen in one day in Ohio? 12 inches, 40 inches, 7 inches, or 22 inches? I'm going to go with the first choice. That's incorrect. 12 inches? <laughs> 40 inches. Incorrect. 22 inches. 22. What percent of snow is made of air? 60. Um, 50%? <laughs> wow, that's a great question. Uh, 95%. You're correct. Four. Four. 4%. 4%. No two snowflakes are identical. True or false? True. False. True. False. Go true or false? That's true, and that's so cute. That's false. Some are identical? True. Is a snowflake truly white? No. It's a little bit clear. No. No. Stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne Now who can stop me, I'm in the zone Competition's none in the league of my own All about the W, I'ma bring it home When it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne I'm in the zone, look, I'm in the zone The competition whack, tell them let's get it on let's go. My hustle game crazy, get up so many bricks You probably could build a home, build a home. <laughs> I done came a long way, this is what the grind make Everybody want the shine, don't know what the shine take nah. You mad that I'm playing, call it sideline Hey, it ain't over till it's over, buzz up be the mind state The fine in the zone, huh? and what you call this? They ask me how I do it, do it. I tell them all risks uh. Why y'all miss? What? I could probably do a backflip fade away and still watch the ball switch. Ooh. Camera flash when I step up to the podium. Hey. Haters looking salty, easy on the soda. Hey. You should plan to lose if you thinking about folding. Uh -huh. Even with a joystick, it's still no Not control. Me. No can stop me. Hey, I'm yeah. in the zone. Competition's none in the league of my own. All about the W. I'ma bring it home when it's over with. I'ma be the king of the throne. Now who can stop me? I'm in the zone, competition's none in the league of my own, all about the W, I'ma bring it home, when it's over with, I'ma be the king of the throne, I'm in the zone, uh, and you can't take me out of that, at the top now, but the bottom's where they found me at, so if I'm down, it's fast, I'm like Dennis Rodman with the rebound, when it come to bouncing back, it's like the Bulls is at the draft, and I'm 23, I might win it, I feel bad for who checking me, past and ahead of me, that you can never be all about the W like after the letter V. They say they win, but I ain't heard of them cats. And since we talking about a winner, I am certainly that. Hey, hey.
want a good seat, you better get there at 7, maybe even 645 in the nest. That's school from north of Route 93 with the royal blue and the red. We're not going to say their name, but we all know who they are. They're the Mustangs. They come to the nest at 730 tonight. Be there as the Fairless Falcons take on the Mustangs and get that dub. Go Falcons, go. And that's all for today, Fairless. See you next week on Falcon, Falcon Media. Media.